and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing this fun soft pink Valentine's Day look. If you all want to see that, then keep on watching. Alrighty, and to start off this tutorial, I am taking my Professional Pearl Primer by Benefits. I love Benefits. For the products I have tried, they are wonderful. I do want to explore more of their line. So just taking a little bit, we are simply going to put that on and preparation for the foundation. And taking the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in Warm Nude. Just taking a little bit of that. Taking our foundation brush. And just taking our Beauty Blender here and blending that out. And now that that is all blended in, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And we are simply dotting that in the under eye areas. And anywhere else that needs concealer. And of course, to blend that all out, I have an angled blending brush here. And we are simply going to tap. It is important to tap because too much tugging will create wrinkles. Taking now the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Chocolate. As you can see, there is a light and a dark. So what I like to do is just take my little angled brush here and just kind of sweep across both for a more natural kind of color. And now that the brows are done, I'm simply taking my Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder, pouring a little bit in the lid, and just baking the under eye. And it's also important to bake the nose if you are wearing glasses or sunglasses, because sometimes, as you know, the foundation does and can move. And then it just creates those little marks. So I've talked to some beauty professionals about that. And they have agreed that just try and bake your nose. It's not perfect, but it does work. And just taking a fluffy facial brush. And just setting lightly the rest of the face. Okay, now that we have set the face, we are simply going to dust off the baking. Just getting rid of any excess powder because that can and will make your face look cakey. And I am just taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit on a bronzing brush here. And it's always best to go in lightly because you can always go in with a little bit more. Thank you. 
And we are just going to clean that up a little bit with a small fluffy facial brush. And taking the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche, just taking that lighter shade there and putting that on the under eye and cheekbone. Down the bridge of the nose. And lightly go in on the bottom here where we just contoured to give it a softer appearance and more natural and just more of a cleanup. Simply taking a very small brush here, we are just going back in with that Hula Bronzer and contouring our nose. And I am taking the Too Faced Love Flush blush in the shade Love Hangover, which I absolutely love. Just, just look how cute that is. That is some cute packaging right there. And just lightly going over. And taking a small fluffy facial brush as well, I am just taking my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold Highlighter. I know I, I have been using this nonstop, but it is truly, truly amazing. I love it. The color payoff is fantastic. This has been my favorite highlighter by far that I've tried. And now that the face is done, it is time to move on to the eyes. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in a bit, and I am just taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. It is the perfect time for chocolate, guys. I mean, it's always time for chocolate, but I just love the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. I have collected them all. <laughs> they are honestly really amazing. They're good quality. The pigments are good. Um, also, Tell me down in the comments below, guys, what your favorite chocolate is. White, milk, dark? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm a dark chocolate person myself, but I won't say no to any chocolate. <laughs> Taking the Ulta Eye Primer and just putting that on the lids to prime them to make sure our shadow stays. Taking the shade Cashew Chew. We are just putting that all over the lid with a fluffy brush. Taking the shade Almond Truffle, putting that in the crease. Taking the shade Mocha, putting that a little bit lower in the crease as well. And now, what I love about this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette are the lovely fun pink shades. So I am going in with the shade Totally Fetch and putting that in our crease as well. Look how fun that is, guys. Too Faced always has such fun colors. Mm -hmm. 
going in now with the shade Cotton Candy and putting that on the inner crease and on the and a little bit on the lid as well. And finally, we are just taking the shade Sprinkles, which is this fun light pastel pink, and putting that on the inner third of our eyes. Taking now a smaller brush, going in with the shade Totally Fetch, and running that along about half the bottom waterline, the lash line here. And going in with the shade Sprinkles and running that on the inner half. Alrighty, I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I have been loving it so far. But you do have to have a very, very steady hand. And as you can see, it creates such a wonderful wing because it has that very fine point. You're able to get in that small detail. I'm just taking my Tarte Bake Awake and I am putting that in my waterline. I shall curl my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I have curled my lashes off camera. I am now taking the shade Satin Sheets and putting that in my inner tear duct. And then just taking the shade Divinity and highlighting our brow bone. Taking now the Monsieur Big Mascara.
and I just love this mascara. It's not sticky and you only really need one coat. It is very volumizing and is just a gorgeous mascara. And now I am going in with my Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade Kind, which is a very nice natural pink. And I am just taking my Wet n Wild lip gloss in the shade Crushed Grapes, which is very, very sparkly here. And taking our Max Prep and Prime Fix Spray. I have been obsessed with it lately. I bought a little one to test it out, see if I liked it. I've tried it and I find it absolutely amazing. So we're just gonna set our face with that. And that is the finished look, guys, for our soft pink Valentine's Day look. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out the awesome social media shout out below. My social media links are down there as well. Love you guys. Bye.